So this is my homemade e-bike. So should you build your own e-bike or should you buy one from the store? We're gonna look at this e-bike and we're gonna then jump back and forth between this and some e-bikes that I've seen in various stores. And I'll tell you the difference and the reasons why you might wanna do one or the other. So is your donor bike strong enough to handle the extra torque, speed, and braking power, et cetera? So first of all, looking at the frame, can it handle an electric motor? So in Dick's Sporting Goods, you look at the Beach Cruiser there, you can see how much beefier the frame is. You can see that there's a disc brake on it, and it's just overall built to handle a lot more power than your standard casual pedal Beach Cruiser. And that's even more true if you're building a front wheel drive beach cruiser like mine. Mine has a big fat thick fork on it, but a lot of the beach cruisers have just real spindly forks and the thing will just snap your forks and, and the wheel will run away without you. You can see I've got a brace on it there to keep the wheel in place and give it a little more structural stability. And then you've got to think about braking. So you can see there, there are screws in the wheel kit where you can put a disc, but there is not enough room to put a caliper in there. I tried it, I bought a conversion kit and there's just no way to fit a caliper in there. You can see other people who've done YouTube videos about how hard it is to put brakes on one of these wheel kits. And you might say, fine, I'll just put a caliper brake on it, which is what I did. But a lot of these wheel kits aren't designed for caliper brakes so that the actual edge of the rim is all grooved up and it'll just shred your brake pads in a matter of minutes. You can see how just how bad it is on this particular one. I even sanded them down to get some of the grooves off, but they don't come smooth. So you want to check that if you're going to buy a sketchy, uh, cheap wheel kit off of eBay like I did. Whereas this budget Dick's Sporting Goods e-bike has good disc brakes on the front and rear that are purpose built to work with the whole package. And then if you are building from a kit or a bunch of parts, I'd recommend buying all the parts at once, like the rack and everything and the motor that goes with the battery. In my case, I bodged it all together with stuff I bought on eBay and an old milk crate I had in the garage. And it looks like a nouveau uh, homeless, but it does the job. But like for, for a totally put together, reliable package, you really can't beat buying one that is previously built rather than kind of hammering your own thing together out of uh, other people's garbage. And your store body bike is just going to look like a bike that's well put together. No zip tie, no duct, duct tape, no uh, white trash accoutrement. It's just going to look really professional and legit. What about power? Well, if you build your own out of sketchy parts that you buy directly off of eBay, you can go a whole lot faster for a whole lot less money. So this one tops out at 38 miles an hour. It's a thousand watt wheel kit with a 48 volt motor and it gets up to around 38 miles an hour. So that's your plus side. The negative side is you might die because you're not able to stop. Now you could certainly pay as much for a e-bike as you do for a used car. The, the prices are quite high for the top end ones, but you could also buy an affordable one and be perfectly happy and know that everything on it is safe and works properly. So the bike I've been showing you is $11.99.99 at Dick's Sporting Goods. Probably not the cheapest place you could find this particular bike, but Nishiki has been making bikes forever. So you know you're gonna get something reliable, something with, with good brakes, with a strong frame that'll just get you where you need to go a lot longer than my bike will probably get me where I need to go before I have to re duct tape and bailing wire something back onto it and solder things together and I've already replaced one wheel kit on mine because I burned it out. And if you're going to start with a beach cruiser that's pretty nice then there's the Schwinn Classic Beach Cruiser for $479 so you'd have to buy one of those and then spend six or seven hundred bucks probably more than that with inflation that's what I spent on my wheel kit was six or seven hundred bucks but they're probably more now so you'd be looking at about the same price as you would pay for one that's already built. And you'd have a reliable, safe vehicle that you could ride on the beach and cruise around and do everything that I do, except uh, you wouldn't be able to keep up with me in a drag race. But if you can live with that humiliation, then I'd recommend buying one off the shelf versus building your own.